That day was so sweet and so good. I I almost didn't come just because I felt really tired and worn out physically, emotionally, spiritually. But um, I knew that it was going to be special. And so when we wrote Wash Over Me, which is the title of the song that was our second write of the day, I was in that same room in the schoolhouse and got to come back to that room with Molly and Amy. And I kind of just told them, this is where I'm at. I said, I'm really tired and drained physically and I felt like I had nothing to give and and I shared that with Molly and Amy and um, Molly you know started writing on her notepad and started sharing stuff and we got the first line that says um, when my strength is next to none Mm. and I'd never sang anything like that before I'd never even said you know it just felt a little I was like, whoa, but that's exactly how I felt was when my strength is next to none. I don't even have a song you're faithful in. Mm. So, and it really just, we just got to worship and it wasn't, at first it wasn't very like structured. It was kind of just, we got to worship together in the room and just sing, you know, wash over me. And when we did sing that, oh man, like the the room shifted and singing it just felt so good like that was exactly what we needed to say and have that invitation for the lord to come wash over us and it literally it brought me so much strength and ministered to my heart so so much even weeks after we wrote it just continuing to sing it so bailey was talking about her heart and and I could feel the heaviness and I felt the father's care for her like to the point of we don't even have to write a song right now. like we just need to love on this daughter and so I just started writing down some little phrases and one of them was we don't have to do a thing we don't even have to sing which morphed into the first line of the song I just even really felt like the Lord was saying, and it it sounds a little unusual because she was like, I know all I have to do is worship. And I just felt like the Lord was saying, you don't even have to worship. Mm. And then we, then I got the, the verse, like you only have to be still for me. And we, we looked it up later. I think Amy looked it up and it was Exodus 14, 14. You don't even have to fight, just be still and the Lord will fight for you. And that's, what I felt like the father's heart for Bailey was. And so from the beginning, this song was about Jesus's father love for Bailey. You could feel the father's heart from the beginning. I related a lot to what Bailey was sharing with us. I had spent the last month right before and almost did not come that day either. Mm -hmm. Um, I was substitute teaching for pre-K three and pre-K four. And during nap time, we would turn on um, like the rain and the ocean waves to um, put them to sleep. And the day before, I was so tired that I laid my head up against the wall during nap time, listening to the water crash, that sound, and I fell asleep. And I thought, you know, what you're saying, it just reminds me of in 2019, I went through a really hard season. I was so down and so beat up um, that I would just sit there in the presence of the Lord and just kind of let him hover over me. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like we need some imagery of like that, you know, where you're just letting that water flow over you. And I remember Bailey going, wave after wave, wave after wave. Like it immediately inspired her into that moment. The other scripture that we had was Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28 in the Passion Translation. It says, I will refresh your life for I'm your oasis. But then Bailey was like renewing, reviving. And, and Molly and I both at the same time said restoring. And so it was like the presence. And we looked at each other and just laughed. And it was like the Holy Spirit was wow. just kind of flowing through all of us in that moment. 
And so mm -hmm. that we were each kind of connecting those dots um, of what we were all kind of feeling and relating to in that song and just letting him kind of like a healing moment in his presence, you know? I think we all left the room feeling refreshed and restored like with a renewed energy. He ministered to us while we wrote the song. It was yeah. a sweet day.